Meditation. If you're just starting to learn about meditation, it's probably very confusing. There are all kinds of apps and videos and books about all these different techniques on meditation. And what makes it confusing isn't that there's lots of help, but that the techniques that they describe are different from one another, and, and in many times they contradict each other. So how do you know if you're really doing meditation right? How do you know if it's the right thing for you? That's some of what I want to talk about today, and as I do, I want to invite you to subscribe to this channel, as well as to click the bell so you're notified of future videos as they're posted. So, do you sit in a chair or do you sit on a cushion on the floor? Do you light incense in a candle? Do you play music? Do you repeat a mantra? Do you say a prayer? Do you... what do you do when you're meditating? All these different things that are out there suggest these different ways, these different techniques. I want to talk about moving beyond the techniques. And before doing that, I want to make one distinction. There's, there's one thing that's often called meditation, guided imagery or guided meditation, that's about picturing yourself in a pleasant place and, and relaxing. And those are really wonderful things, and I am not trying to, to bash them or be critical of them, but they're really not meditation. Those are aids that will help you reduce your stress, give you a sense of well-being, and, and help you to let go of the day-to-day -day struggles that you're experiencing and, and just experience something pleasant. And, and they're really great. They're, they're very helpful, but they're not really meditation. Meditation is the experience of going inside of ourselves and experiencing a deep sense of quiet, an inner silence, and allowing that experience of silence to, to reverberate out of us so that all the noise around us begins to fade away. When we're really in that deep inner quiet, we may still sort of be aware of things around us, but they really start fading. They don't demand our attention. And that's really where meditation is about. So if you're listening to somebody say, now imagine this and picture that, that's not really going to be meditation. You really need to embrace that deep inner quiet and simply allow yourself to be there. Now, how do you get there? So the classic image of meditation comes from Buddhism. It's sitting on the floor on the cushion with your legs crossed and your arms out with your eyes not quite closed, but gazing downward and being aware of your breath as you exhale. That's one way to begin meditation. That's not how I begin meditation. That's not how I do it. I sit in a chair and I sit in a chair because I'm not comfortable on the floor. And if I try to sit on the floor and cross my legs, well, guess what? I have arthritis in my hips, so it just isn't comfortable for me. So I sit in a chair with my feet flat on the floor, my arms are sort of open, and I close my eyes, and I don't follow my breath, but I do repeat a word on my breath. And it's always a simple word. It may be peace, it may be healing, but I allow, allow that word to help me transition from my regular state of awareness into that deep quiet. And then I'm simply there. But you know, you don't have to sit to meditate. Zen master Thich Nhat Hanh taught people mindfulness walking. That's a form of meditation. It's doing meditation while you're slowly walking in a mindful way. And it's allowing that peace to come into you and to be quiet and to experience that quiet in connection with whatever's around you. So it's experiencing that quiet on the inside and on the outside. That's the phrase I often use for meditation, about that quiet on the inside and on the outside. What happens when you experience that quiet? Well, it can be any number of things. When you really get there, you may open yourself up to a sense of, of, of just being quiet and simply being there. It may seem like nothing's happening at all, and that's just fine. Or it may seem that you're connecting at times, having a sense of union or communion with, with something beyond you, and that's wonderful. 
or you may experience some emotion arising within you. And you'll learn over time not to engage in that emotion, but to simply let it be, because whatever is happening in meditation, you just want to let it be and sort of be witness to it. Or you may be really tired, and so you go into that quiet and you fall asleep. That's fine too. The issue isn't what happens. It's that you simply put yourself in that place to experience the quiet within you and around you, to take that quiet with you. Now, what's the right technique? Well, a technique is a technique. The important thing isn't the technique. And I'm going to make some people angry with this. And I'm going to say that the technique isn't the important thing. The experience of meditation is the important thing. I want to use an example to compare that. My example is driving a car. You know, when I was 16, my father taught me how to drive a car. Luckily, I had driver's ed later. But my father initially taught me how to drive a car. And what he taught me was to line up the hood ornament with the side of the road so I'd know where I was in my lane. And that's how I could tell that I was in my lane. Now, clearly, this was a long time ago because cars had hood ornaments then. I also learned from him a pattern. I would look at the road in front of me to see what was in front of me, then check the rear view mirror, then check the side view mirror. And so I would drive with my hands at 10 and 2, check ahead of me, behind me, beside me, make sure the hood ornament was lined up, the road ahead of me, behind me. And I had this pattern going. And that was my technique to learn how to drive. I don't drive that way anymore. That's how I learned how to drive when I was 16. Today, I get in a car and I drive. It's natural to me. I know how to do it. I don't even think about it when I'm doing it. Now, yeah, if I'm in a car that I haven't driven before, I check out to see where the controls are, but I'm going in and driving the car. And for me, it doesn't matter whether it's an automatic transmission or a standard transmission. I know how to drive both, and I can drive either equally well. And it's a great thing. I drive a car. Meditation's like that. If you're doing it right, you'll reach a point where the technique falls away. And it's not about the technique. It's about the experience of meditation, about going into that deep silence and simply being and allowing yourself to spend 10 or 20 or 30 minutes in that deep silence and allowing what happens during that time to simply happen. Whether it seems like there's nothing much happening other than you're sitting there or doing walking or however it is you're meditating, or whether you're experiencing times of union and communion or times of emotion or even just falling asleep. The important thing is to simply allow yourself to be in that quiet. Allow that silence to fill you and allow that silence to reverberate and insulate you from everything around you. And that's where the healing and wholeness of meditation comes. That's where all the benefits that happen for us in terms of our brain chemistry kick in. Be sure to subscribe to this channel, like the video, share it with others, leave me some comments about your own experience of meditation, and know that I really appreciate the time you spend on this channel, Spirituality Beyond Borders. Have a really great day.